Hey guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the orientation of your icons by rotating them in any orientation of your iPod. So this is the standard one, uh, portrait right here, and then watch what happens when I turn my device landscape this way. All my icons shift, and you see that they're perfectly scaled so it doesn't look too cramped on this, and my dock is too, and it actually is compatible with InfiniDock. Um, Infinite Board won't work, as you can see, I did have scrolling down on the regular uh, portrait, but Infinite Board won't work while you're on landscape. But everything else seems great, guys. You can scroll side to side. Everything is the exact same. And you can do it in every direction. So this is upside down. Oops, alright, there's upside down. And as you can see, Infinite Board works. Infinite Dock, uh, Infinite Dock works. Infinite Board works as well. And it's almost it's exact same thing except it's upside down your iPod and the home button's up here. So if you like the home button to be up here, this would be great for you. But this just works on your springboard. And then the last landscape direction, everything turns as well. Everything works the same. You have Infinite Dock, and you have the regular scrolling. All right. So there are some other features of this that you can customize. But first, I'm going to show you how to get this. Uh, we're going to go into Cydia, of course. and we're going to wait for it to load up. And when Cydia has finished refreshing all of its sources, and then you want to go to Manage, and then Sources, and you want to add this source right here, the Be Your iPhone source. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo dot be your iPhone dot com. The link will be in the description over there, or actually it's down there now. Um, but once you've added that source by clicking edit and then clicking add and then typing in that source, you can click done. And you can just click on the source and you want to scroll down to the S's. And scroll down until you get to the SB's. And this is the name of the application, SB Rotator. As you can see, it's the free version. Click on that. And then all you want to do is click install in the top right and confirm in the top right again. And then you want to restart your springboard. And then you'll be able to do that with your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now to change the settings of this application, it's directly in the settings app. So go into settings and you want to go into SB Rotator. Now we have just four options here. Rotation enab enabled, which um, just allows you to uh, rotate your icons and stuff. Then ro background rotation, when you rotate if you want your background um, on or off, and I kept that on and background behavior. We have three options here. Rotate and zoom, which is what we want when we um, go like that. We want it to um, bring it back to the original size. Then we have rotate and crop, which makes the screen a little smaller. Uh, I don't really want that. And then we have an option called use background dash w dot jpg. That's just basically, um, you can use a different image when it's landscape um, than when it's portrait. So if you have a portrait image that looks really bad when it's on landscape, because it's too stretched out, you can use a separate image. I'm not going to get into that, but it has to do with windshield board and stuff. And then we have one called icon behavior. Uh, I will leave this at default. It has um, how much the docks need to be shrinked uh, when it's in the landscape. The icons are 70% and the dock ones are 80%. Then you have an option for the icons to be 70 and the dock to stay the same. And then you have um, for them both to stay the same, but to use shrink uh, manually and change them that way. I would leave it on this, and that's it, guys. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this little tweak video. Uh, it did come out a couple days ago. I'm a little late on the video, but you know, lover, um, better late than never. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this and uh, comment below, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.